Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Marissa, and today we're going to talk about dinosaurs. So I'm going to Canada in a few days. Uh, I'll be there for two weeks doing a regional field geology course, and uh, we get to study rocks, look at dinosaur bones, go camping and hiking, and it's just, it's amazing, and I'm really excited. So uh, I figured I would teach you guys something about dinosaurs of the Canadian Rockies. So all the dinosaurs in the Canadian Rockies lived during the Cretaceous period. Now the Cretaceous period was between 145 to 65 million years ago, and it was in between the uh, Jurassic period and the Paleogene period. As you might know, Jurassic period from Jurassic Park. But the Paleogene period is after the dinosaurs, and it was the beginning of the age of mammals. So uh, Canada during the Cretaceous period was a bit different than what it is today. Uh, for one, it was very hot, it was very dry, and there was a huge freaking sea going right through the middle of Canada. Uh, the Western Interior Seaway went right through North America, and uh, it kind of created this kind of tropical beach type area near the Rockies. So there are between 40 and 50 different types of dinosaurs that were living in Canada during this time. And I can't go through every single one of them because I'm sure that would bore you. So I'm just gonna give you my top eight. So first off, we have the Albertosaurus, which obviously lived in Alberta. This dinosaur was a family member of the T-Rex, uh, however it was much smaller than the T-Rex. Next is the Parasaurolophus, like dude, that's a cool name. Um, it actually had a crest on top of its head that could emit a low wave frequency to the rest of the herd, and it could warn them of any danger coming nearby. So next is the Stegocerus, which is a pretty cool dinosaur. It had this big dome on the top of its head that was actually solid bone. Like, that's pretty hardcore. Did you get that pun? Um, <laughs> they would actually use this dome to ram heads with each other to compete for females. Uh, however, they wouldn't use this to attack other dinosaurs because they were herbivores. So I think that's pretty cool. So next up is the Styracosaurus. Uh, it would have a minimum of six spikes, and they would use these ferocious spikes on top of her head to attract mates and defend themselves. So next up is the Strothiomimus, um, which name means ostrich mimic because it kind of looks like an ostrich. They could run up to speeds of 30 to 40 miles an hour, and they could sprint at up to 50 miles an hour. So next up is the Uoplocephalus, which is probably my favorite dinosaur. Its name means double, d double armored, d double, double armored, and it had armor on its back and its side, and it even had armored eyelids, and it had a club on the back of its tail that it would use to defend itself. So last but definitely not least is the Tyrannosaurus rex. They were the last great predator of the Cretaceous period. However, they could only run at speeds of up to 10 miles an hour, and they had a very small brain. So a lot of scientists think that maybe they were foragers instead of hunters. I have a big head and little arms. Yep. <laughs> so since we're on the topic of dinosaurs, do you remember uh, A Land Before Time? And there was one scene that we will never forget. Please get up. I'm Yes, you can. Get up. Dear sweet little foot, do you remember the way to the Great Valley? I guess so. But why do I have to know you're going to be with me? I'll be with you. What do you mean, if I can't see you? I can always see you. Little foot, let your heart guide you. It whispers, so listen closely. Mother? Mother? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you can like this video if you liked it, and you can subscribe if you want to. You don't have to. Bye, guys. Hope you have a good day. Now, we don't know all about dinosaurs, but we do know a lot. 
Hey, uh, Dr. Sampson, can you throw me a bone? 